New research suggests that nearly one third of Asian Americans say that they often worry about being the victim of a hate crime. 60 Minutes Plus correspondent Wesley Lowry spoke with Noel Quintona, a 61 year old man who was slashed across the face while on a New York City subway in February. They talked about the attack and what originally brought him to New York. Because of the uh, energy, the energy mm. of New York, the pace, the, uh, the tall buildings, you know, uh, yeah, and the people, the people are so uh, in a hurry, yeah. <laughs> Definitely in a hurry. I like that pace. Each morning, Quintana would board a crowded subway car for his 45-minute ride to work, until one day in February when he was brutally attacked. His face still bears the scars. When this man boarded the train, he stood beside me, so... Um, after a few minutes, he kicked my, uh, my bag. So I turned away from him and put my bag in front of me. You're trying to make sure yeah. you're not bumping into him or yes, anything. Yes, yes. And then after a few more minutes, he kicked again. And I said, what's, what's wrong with you? And then he moved forward, came to me, and then slashed me. I thought he was going to punch me, but he didn't feel anything. So uh, when I saw the reaction of uh, the people seated, I put my uh, hands on my uh, on my face and I saw blood oozing. Yeah, what did you think yeah. when you saw that blood? Yeah, I asked for help and I asked, help me, please help me. Uh, did anyone come out? No, no, nobody helped me. Quintana ended up with about 100 stitches across his face and police later arrested 28-year-old Pashan Boykin and charged him with assault. While the case became a rallying cry about targeted attacks against Asian Americans, prosecutors did not bring hate crime charges. To charge something as a hate crime, prosecutors must have evidence that an attack was specifically motivated by prejudice. While Quintana says he was the only Asian American standing near his attacker, there were no racial slurs made during the incident. A defense attorney for Boykin, who has pleaded not guilty, said one reason prosecutors did not bring hate crime charges was because his client's past criminal record includes at least one other violent crime on the subway, and that crime was committed against a non-Asian victim. It might be a, uh, a hate crime, but, but still, he didn't say anything, so uh, it's hard. It could be either. You it don't could, know. Yeah, it could, yeah. So you can stream Wes's full interview this Sunday on 60 Minutes Plus on Paramount Plus, the new streaming service from Viacom CBS.